Okay, welcome everyone to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a lot safer than the last one um, and I'm going to try and make it a lot shorter because uh, 51 minutes or 53 minutes or whatever it ended up being was ridiculously long. It was important in my opinion just for, for safety. You don't want to uh, don't want anyone to hurt themselves with the things that I'm showing you so safety is, is in, you know, pretty important in my opinion so um, this one we'll try and make quicker um, it's just covering and, and a much safer system as well so uh, this is just low level power that anybody can do it's just connecting the batteries in the right way uh, I'll say straight off the bat, um, I don't recommend you using lithium batteries with um, the battery management systems on them. Some of those batteries, say in these 12 volt variety, um, aren't compatible with series wiring and or, or parallel wiring. Some of them are just purely designed to be standalone. Um, and then there are others that have a battery management system that does allow you to bank them up, um, you know, 12, 24 volts, whatever, um, which these two here would be, would be 12, uh, 24 volt, well, if they were wired that way. Um, so the, for anyone worried about blowing up their light as well, the, difference between here so when you connect this up and you think to yourself well, hang on that's 24 volt the light is 12 volt that's going to do damage to it it's not because the power that the light sees is the difference between the two banks which is 24 volt to 12 and that's only 12 volt so as far as the light's concerned it doesn't it doesn't seem to be affected by it however i do not take responsibility for anyone damaging the any of their lights you know I've blown up hundreds of lights in testing all different types of systems so uh, there are no guarantees and this little quick video will demonstrate that um, so initially uh, this system had this LED up in this position and that was the LED that was lit and I had this LED that you see lighting up now. I had that section uh, just a straight wire across there. So if we were to bridge that, if I just put those jumpers on both sides of that LED and bridge that, then that light was on there um, and very dimly lit and so I started to wonder well is there something wrong with that light and so I put the other one on on this side to try and equalize the pressure scenario uh, and this one didn't light up whereas this one was now and so I was again confused so then I thought to myself well that's connecting the two negative points well that sh it shouldn't really be able to light up because they should be the same potential so and then I thought well what happens if I you know the light was this way initially and this was the main light that I was running and and this section was bridged um, where this light is now so I thought well, what happens if I turn this LED around which is a diode and should should stop the electricity going in one direction but the light still turns on nice and bright so I thought to myself that's that's weird that I'll leave it like that and we'll see how long it lasts and that's when it ran for 31 days 
And so I thought to myself, well, I need to investigate that. And so if I remove that diode, uh, sorry, the LED, which you know, is a diode, and I investigate this ability for it to turn around, and I thought, well, what if the diode's damaged? I grab another one out of the packet, see if the same thing works and it doesn't the light doesn't turn on and then I thought to myself well okay that that doesn't make sense that explains the other 10 uh, LEDs here out of the same packet and I thought to myself well maybe this diode original one on here was allowing that transfer because it is in some way faulty and then I got to thinking it's possibly a leaky diode um, and these ones are known to do that you know leak a little bit back but not not the value um, that you would expect uh, sorry not at not at this low value low voltage so I grabbed one of these diodes uh, which is not an LED just a standard diode and tried it in both directions and the light still worked so I was sort of like well okay maybe I was right maybe it is a leaking uh, or faulty diode a uh, faulty LED Let, I'll, and I'll test it uh, to see if if the LEDs broken and if, it, if it's still working so if we just connect that up one side three volts we can see it works connect it up the other side it doesn't work so I'm thinking well that's how they're designed to function why in this way is it letting light through in both instances So then I thought, well, if this leaky diode concept is correct, and it does it also with a, des a diode designed to leak at higher voltages, what if that diode is also experiencing some sort of anomaly that doesn't allow it to work properly, and then so I got another diode, of off the same strip and thought to myself well hang on that's not working now either what's going on here another one from the same strip not working so I'm now confused so I grabbed a diode that is is not designed to leak and place it on the problem with using this diode it's way too um, it's designed for much much higher voltages and the voltage drop across it just about practically renders the um, LED inoperable just from voltage uh, so if we try and get that on the camera you can just make out, oh, maybe turn the light off for a sec. You can just make out that the voltage goes one way. And the other way. So I'm not going to suggest that I have the answers. Um, uh, for this one, uh, I think it still requires a lot of testing, but it's something that everybody can do. It's low voltage stuff, even if you're doing it with the 12 volt stuff, it won't really cause any problems unless you're using these um, lithiums with a BMS that don't tolerate um, parallel or series connections. So, um, 
I suppose now what I'll do is I'll, I'll place this. These are new, newly charged batteries. I will connect this up. Um, just the original way it was set up. I'll test it to see whether it comes out any more than the 12, um, 12 days for that light. And, um, you know, which is, is way and above what it would normally run if you were to take all six of these batteries, wire this up so that that's the correct voltage and use conventional understanding of electronics, that light will be out by morning. You, you won't even get 12 hours, let alone 12 days. So connect it up as per that diagram there um, you get at least 12 days so I'll run this test now with this and then I'm going to have to investigate um, more why these uh, some of these components are leaky and how they allow for that whether that's res the, what's responsible for the 31 days um, letting certain amounts of power through at certain times. I did notice the opposite uh, So the one here the LED that was positioned here that didn't actually light up But allowed the other LED to light um, It sometimes was warm I mean obviously energy has to be going through it because that's that's the connection when you when you disconnect that connection there the light doesn't work at all um, I believe it might be a bit brighter with a straight through connection yeah quite possibly which would account for um, why it uh, only lasted 12 days instead of the 31 days that could be the whole reason there that there is um, more resistance experienced through this somewhat faulty LED and so that drops the overall voltage um, it would be a good idea to perhaps uh, test it again it was in this orientation first because I know the legs were bent that way uh, deliberately for that so um, it would be probably a good idea to test it in this orientation and see how much longer and whether that that trade-off is acceptable in you know, a trade-off in in brightness um, you know 12 days in its own right without needing to be charged again um, and it was still running at 12 days you could still see it like if you walked around in a dark house looking for it you, you it was still visible um, just not as bright as that uh, so it would be a decision on trade-off do I want it to last longer uh, I might try and find one of these leaking components um good luck with that because i you know i pulled 10 out of the bag and started to get bored pretty quickly um you know just just and and three of these off the strip uh those two functioned as they should and let next to nothing through and this one seems to work both ways um, just as this LED won't work both ways won't even work at all to make this other light light up whereas this one does and works both ways so I don't know if anyone's got anything um, any suggestions other than um, the most likely uh, fact that they're leaking, uh, they're leaking a small amount of current through, and in my mind, that's probably you know the most likely explanation. They're faulty, um, 
HBO, which again, as I said, would reduce brightness due to the increased re resistance and voltage drop. Um, so reduce brightness, extend length of operation. Uh, maybe I might do some investigations with um, some resistances, put dis different resistance values across there. Maybe in a, even um, a potentiometer to uh, dial it down to whatever you wanted to see if uh, we could get a longer runtime. All right, thanks for watching. That's already 15 minutes, really? Wow. Like and subscribe if you can, and uh, please share this because this is a safe one. Uh, anybody can have a crack at this. Um, I'll, I'll try and draw up another schematic uh, to show these in a side-by-side -side setup similar to um, what that one is. Um, so, yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.